Hey everyone, it's Mike from Amorphos here and welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you could join me for today's video. We're going to be talking about uh, cumulative delta because, you know, today's topic sort of came in off of a back of a couple comments on cumulative delta. But before we jump in, if you enjoyed learning from these videos, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a new upload. And if you find today's video helpful, be sure to hit the like button for me and leave a comment sharing your biggest takeaway. You know, I love hearing your feedback and, you know, oftentimes I do make a video follow-up uh, to your questions. Um, just like today. So your support really does go a long way in helping me create uh, more content just like this. So if you're getting value from my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button and leave a comment below. All right. So, you know, today's topic, it came on the back of a couple of questions from users recently. Um, and there, there's two there's two comments that I want to talk about here. So first, uh, Learner4189 asks, can we only follow cumulative delta along with technical analysis, or do we need to follow in-depth order flow analysis, all techniques of order flow analysis? Well, I often say this, you could use whatever parts of order flow analysis you want in your trading, right? If you find that there's something that helps you, use that piece, okay? Because I, I know for a fact that there are traders, right, who specifically buy my software just to use it because they're looking at one aspect in the order flow that my software highlights, okay? So, you know, if you already have an existing method of trading, by all means, if you can add order flow to it to make it more effective, go for it, right? So, um, you know, if cumulative delta is sort of like, I don't say your, your magic pill, so to speak, you know, your magic beans, when you add it with your technical analysis, for sure, use it, okay? And that sort of leads into the next question here um, from uh, Gupta. It says, hello, sir, I'm from India. Namaste. I uh, want to know if cumulative delta is going down, continuing, but price is not moving. Can you explain this particular case? What is going on there? If selling is taken by limit buyer, then why price fall after one hour? Because limit buyer will always want to take price up. But in today's market, nifty fall. Now, he was specifically talking about nifty. And you, you see this a lot in a lot of markets, honestly, not just uh, nifty. We'll take a look at nifty in, in a moment. Um, but first, you know, I'll start out with uh, E-minis, okay, because, you know, today, this market, you know, we've been in a range 08 high to uh, 95 low, so about, you know, a pretty quiet session today, and you can see there's areas where there's big rises in cumulative delta prices rising, okay, you got this little bit of divergence here taking place, uh, actually, um, just get the drawing tool out here, what I want, I just want F2, just a line, cumulative delta going down, price made a new high okay so you have this divergence yeah and and you know delta continued going lower yeah price did go lower generally you know what what you have right with cumulative delta is um you know when price is declining cumulative delta will should decline if price is generally moving up cumulative delta should be moving up right because what you have obviously you know what is delta is the net difference between aggressive buyers and aggressive sellers in the bar. So if you have more aggressive buyers, right, people that are removing that liquidity from the market, people that are lifting the offers, right, price should go up. Just as if you have sellers going down and clearing out the limit bids, right, the bids in the market, price should go down, okay, generally speaking, right? But there are instances like today in the gold where you kind of have the opposite happening. Right, you have gold prices going higher, but what's cumulative delta doing? Cumulative delta is going lower. Now I'm just using the cumulative delta charts from that's provided by Ninja uh, Trader. Right, when you have the paid license, so you know that you can look at the actual cumulative delta number. Sometimes you know I, I just find it easier for explanation purposes um, to have it in in candlestick format. So. You know, going back to Gupta's question, he's saying in Nifty, um, cumulative delta was going down, but price was not moving. So here, in this case, we have something similar. Cumulative delta obviously going down, but price essentially going sideways to higher. <coughs> okay, so 
what's happening because he's asking if um, the selling is being taken by the limit buyers. Okay, so what you have here, right, in this case, let me uh, add on a gold chart here really quick just so you can see the footprint. But what's happening, right? Price is going up here, basically going sideways. Cumulative delta is going lower. So you have more aggressive selling, even though price is going higher. And people are going to say, well, how can you have price go higher if there's more aggressive selling taking place? Okay, so let's take a look at the footprint here. Okay, so again, you can see in here, we're just made this new high here right here at 856, still got cumulative delta is positive here. Now it turns negative, okay? It turns negative here at uh, 858. Okay, so what does that mean? So you can see in here, right? Even though you got all these bars negative delta in here, all these bars negative delta, all these bars negative delta, what are you seeing? Okay, just really quick, you know, play the game. You know, what do you see? Well, I see this green bar with negative delta, okay? I see doji bar here, red, red, green bar with negative delta, another green bar with negative delta, another green bar with negative delta, right? Another green bar with negative delta, right? Here, right? Um, I just draw these horizontal lines here. What is it? Uh, whoops, vertical line rather. Come on. Vertical line F7. Okay, one there, one there, one there, there. So we got these bars here with negative delta, right? Green candles. How can these green candle? How can the market be going up? Is well, you have limit bids in here that are basically absorbing that aggressive selling, right? That's what's giving support to this market, right? You see the 116, the 127, the 126. You see the 86, 83, 114, 92. Obviously here, 83, 53, 68, 68, right? Even in this bar, I mean, it's a green candle, right? You got 50, 24, 31, 27, even here, 48, right? So you know that there's strong buyers there absorbing what strong selling is, right? And because if this, if you didn't have these strong sellers there in the market, or strong buyers rather, the strong bids in this market, with this selling, you know, the market should be going down, right? We should be trading at 54. But just by, looking at the cumulative delta going down as price is rising, I sort of get in the sense that, hey, you know what? There's probably some absorption taking place in the market, right? And you could see it there just by looking at the volumes in the footprint, right? I mean, this one here, again, another positive uh, green candle, but negative delta, right? Small there, another strong negative delta. But it's a green candle. So I know that there's bids in the market here, 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 you know, 63, 61, 63, 10, 63, 40, 63, 50, 63, 60. Okay. So I know that there's these bids in the market, right? 52. And again, if, if you even take a little bit more granular look, the heaviest bid is coming where? It's, or the heaviest volume in the bar is coming on the bid side here in this bar maybe this volumes coming in where on the bid side of this bar this one is equal 34 and 34 right but these are some of the clues that you're looking for in the footprint right i mean can you so again you know sort of going back to cumulative delta you know can i just use cumulative delta um, with technical analysis well of, of course you can i just like to use it a, a little bit deeper right and actually look at um, what's taking place now maybe what you might want to do is change your chart to a delta chart okay delta chart is going to give you delta at price okay so let me just remove 
um, these lines here, right? But you can see, right? There's a green candle. Where's what's the delta? It's all negative, but the bar is going up, right? Because what's taking place? Well, I know I've got absorption. I know I've got buyers coming in here to you know, work limits to absorb whatever's selling. Because remember, you're at the high of the day. You got selling coming in, but the market's not going down. How do I know there's selling coming in? Well, cumulative delta, I just watched flip from positive back here to negative over here. So I know that there's got to be some bids in this market absorbing whatever selling is taking place in here. Okay. I mean, you could even see it here, minus 123. Now, this is a red candle, but still, that's a strong delta for a price up here near the high of the day. Okay, so, I mean, that, that's information that you could use. So, don't think that, oh, you know, maybe I, I'm just going to take one piece. If you can just use cumulative delta in your trading, okay, you know, go for it. Now, let's take a look here at... Uh, let me get my go charting platform going on. Because you asked the tongue tie specifically not the wrong uh, about the nifty. Okay. I'm not sure when this comment came in. It came in a day ago. So let me just pull in go charting here. Because I've noticed there's a few questions about go charting uh, the platform. Um, so let me pull up my charts. And Nifty Futures. All right, Nifty Futures. Um, okay, let me get cumulative delta on here. Cumulative delta, where are you here? Here. Oh. So you had asked specifically, uh, cumulative delta is going down, but price is not moving. Okay, well, I mean, price is moving. I mean, whether it's going down or not, or, I mean, you know, the fluctuation that's taking place is another um, story. So cumulative delta is going down. Down, down, down. What do I do? I put it on a five minute chart here, it might be a little bit easier. This one sort of came in yesterday. Okay, so cumulative delta is going down maybe here. All right, I can sort of see it drop in here. But price is not moving. Well, again. Similar thing. I mean, you know what's taking place in the trading, right? You have that aggressive sellers coming in, right? But you do have passive limit buy orders sitting there to absorb whatever aggressive selling is taking place. You know, you can sort of see it in here because, you know, we're sort of you know dropping in here over this time period. Minus 183K, minus 201, minus 200K, minus 199, minus 205. And it looks like price is just holding steady. Well, when you're looking at the volumes, that's what's going to give you that extra layer of what's taking place. Because you know there's aggressive selling taking place. But it's there's bids in there. There's limit bids that are absorbing that selling. Okay. So sometimes it's easier if you're using the candlestick formats like I just showed you there with the um, here, right, here. Because you can see like, how this market is dropping down. And again, there's there's a lot of different ways you can use it. You know, I know some guys, they just use cumulative delta. They just look for divergence like this. That's all. That's their play. Okay. So anyway, uh, that wraps up this video on cumulative Delta. I hope you found it useful to your understanding. I hope it doesn't confuse you a little bit more. Um, let me know what you'd like me to discuss next by leaving a comment down below. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. 
Thanks again for being part of my community, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.